In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get $300 of VO3 credits for free so that you can generate them manually inside of Vertex AI. And then in the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate them into N8N so you can use those credits inside of your workflows. So let's just watch this one example that I made with the credits. I was made for free. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's get right into the tutorial. So step one is to go to this link, which I will link in the description, cloud.google.com slash free, and then just click get started for free. Okay, so it's gonna prompt you for this. Click agree and continue. All right, now you have to set up a payment method, but don't worry, you're not going to be charged. Even if you run out of credits, it's not gonna auto charge you or anything. So you can use a debit card, credit card, bank account, whatever. And again, you're not gonna be charged unless you click activate account, which I'll show you later on. Um, but you're not gonna be charged even if you run out of credits, okay? So you can click start free right here. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna click it. You can click start free, and that's gonna get you into Google Cloud. Now the next step is if it makes you a project, you can leave the project, but sometimes it won't make the project for you. So up here in the top left, click here, and then if you don't have one already made, just click new project, go through here, name it, and then click create. So I already have one right here, so I'm all good. As you can see, it has the free trial. I've used a little bit of it already, but this is the activate button I'm talking about. Just do not click this activate button because then you could be charged. So do not click activate right here, right? Activate full account or in the top right, just don't click that. Next, you can click the second link in the description and that will bring you here for the setup. So again, this is the project selector. So if you go here, you can see all your projects if you have one or if you need to create one, right? Um, so that's the project we have from earlier. So that's all good. Next, we'll click number two right here, open this up. And then this is how you can check if the billing is enabled because it will need to be enabled. Again, you're not gonna be charged, but this is just the way it is. So you can click here to sign it to Google Cloud Console, okay? Now we're here. And then all we have to do is come up to the left over here, navigation menu, click on billing on the left. And then as you can see, see I've used a little bit of my free trial credit. You can just click here, manage billing account. And then these are the projects linked to this billing account, which is what we need. So this is basically linking the project to the credits, uh, the free credits. Now, again, just in case the projects aren't showing up in that list for you, right? If they're not showing up in here, I've just made another one test to show how to get that project in here. So this is the original page. Once you make your account again up here, click new project and create the project and then it will show up in your billing. So now that that's all done, on to step three here of the second link. Again, cloudgoogle.com, Vertex AI docs, right? Click right here to enable the Vertex API. So this is how we can use VO3. So I'm just gonna click that, click next, and then just click enable. I've already enabled it, so I don't have to. But once you click enable, then that's gonna activate the Vertex AI API. And then what you can do is come to the navigation menu over here, click on Vertex AI, click on Media Studio, and then click on VO right here. And in, in here as well, it might pop up. Do you want to activate Vertex AI? You can click activate and it will activate everything for you as well. Now you can just type your VO3 prompt as usual. Oh, also make sure the number of results, it's a default on four. You can turn that to one. And then you can do VO3 fast to save credits as well, if you want. Do a little test. Okay, it's done. As you can see, I switched it to VO3 fast and it increased the number of results to four again. So just be careful. But uh, yeah, here we go. I love YouTube. I let's talk, there's back the scap. Okay. Uh, yeah, so sometimes it can be a little bit crazy, but that is VO3 for free with 300 credits within Vertex AI. So now let's move on how you can use this inside of NADN. By the way, if you wanna download, you just have to click these three dots right here and then you can click download. 
So the next step is we're going to go to Google AI Studio to get our API key. Okay, so I'll leave a link for this in the description. All right, you can do this in Google Cloud, but I just use Google AI Studio. So once you're on Google AI Studio and you are signed into the same account that you used on Google Cloud, you just want to come up here and click Get API Key and then click Create API Key. Click here. Click whatever you named your project and then click Create API Key in Existing Project. Then you should see this down here and you can just click right here to copy your API key, which we will need later for when we're using NADN. All right, so I'm here in NADN. You can find this template for free in the description. There'll be a link to a Google Drive where you can download this for free. And then all you have to do is once you're in NADN and you've opened up a new workflow, you can just come up here to these three dots, click import from file, find where you saved it on your computer, and then you can just import it just like that. So on the top, we have VO3 fast, and then on the bottom, we have VO3, depending on which one you want to use. And you can integrate these into your workflows. So I'm going to show you how it works really quickly. So if we go into this one, VO3, so this is where we're sending the request for it to be generated. As you can see, the only difference is in the URL, we have VO3 fast, whereas in the other one, it's just VO3, okay? Now, right here is where we put our API key. We'll come back to that. You need to do this for every HTTP request. But again, we'll come back to that. But down here in the JSON, as an expression, if we just open this up, as you can see here, we have the prompt. So I have a video of Bigfoot in the forest saying it worked. If you're using this in an NNN workflow, chances are you want to change this dynamically. So I've just deleted that. So you would just paste whatever kind of input you want into here from your past nodes. So let's say you have an AI agent. You want the AI agent's output, which would probably be your prompt agent, to come into here. You would just drag that right into these two quotations, and then that would dynamically change the prompt for the video. If you're new to NADN, you can check out the beginner guide on my channel, and that will kind of help you understand how to do that better. But in the meantime, I'm just going to put in this prompt, a video of Bigfoot in the forest saying it worked. All right. So that's all you need to change there. And then it's just going to go to status. It's going to check the status until it's done. And then it's going to download it and bring the video into NADN. Okay. So we go back into Google AI Studio. If you remember the API key right here, you can click right here to copy it. And then once you copy it, in depending on which one you're going to use, inside of all the HTTP requests, you want to paste it right here into this value. For that one, for status, right here, and for download, right here. All right, so I've pasted it into all of them, and now I'm just going to click on Execute Workflow. And again, you can integrate this into whatever kind of workflow you want. All you have to do is just hook it up from beginning to end into your workflow, and then you can have it work in your workflow. All right, so it looks like our video is done. So we can just come into the download node right here. And if we click view, it worked. Watch. Hey, wait, did it work? It? Hold on. Okay, he didn't say it. That's VO3 fast for you. I'm going to run it through one more time. Another thing to keep in mind is sometimes there'll be an error and it'll say audio wasn't generated and then it just won't generate the video. That's just Google. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that. And again, it is AI video, so it's not going to be perfect every time. But as you can see, it took the prompt and then it generated the video. All right, there's our second video done. Hopefully this one is better. Let's take a look. It worked. It worked. All right, so he said it worked, as you can see. Again, if you want a better output, you can use VO3. It's more accurate. It's just more expensive. So there you go. That is how you use it inside of NADN. Another thing I'd like to add is you can use Blotato. So this is Blotato. As you can see, you can log in with all of these different social media platforms right here. 
And what you can do is have it automatically post these videos to whatever social platform you want. So all you would do is come here, add a new node. You can search Blotato if you have community nodes enabled. I have a guide for how to use that on my channel. It's called Nine Socials on Autopilot. And then you can have these automatically distributed to whatever social platform that you want. So you can check out that guide on my channel if you're interested in that. One final thing is if you come up here and you search Gemini, they actually have the generate a video node inside of N8N. As you can see, look, it's got this nice little icon and everything. You can just put the prompt model, but currently it doesn't work. It gives you an error. It's like an error about duration seconds parameter or something like that. This one, like you can just connect to your account and it's just done, but the error has been here for like two, three weeks, whatever. So if you're watching this in the future, you can probably just connect your account and then the error will probably be, will probably be fixed if you've updated your N8N. So that's just another note. If you're watching this in the future, you can probably use the integrated Gemini node so that it's just one node. It's not all of these nodes all at once. That's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if this helped you out. It really helps out the channel. And then you can stay updated on all my future videos. Also in the description, there is my Telegram channel where you can stay updated on all the latest AI news. Thanks again for watching and I will see you later.